What's up, ninjas? We're back again at Ninja Brand Parkour in Colorado. I'm Lauren Ball here to give you guys a little bit of a lesson plan on these guys. Yeah, you, you know what these are for. So, nunchucks. Have you ever gotten up and jumped on this obstacle and just kept sliding, you couldn't quite figure out how to get the best grip? Well, I'm gonna teach you guys today what I've learned from my gymnastics background on how to, how to get the proper grip on this obstacle and also a little bit of climbing knowledge too to help you guys stay up longer on this obstacle and get through it and all the way to the end. So, nunchucks. Any obstacle that requires you to grip that's hanging vertically like this, you're gonna need what's called a false grip. A false grip is a gymnastics term for how they properly hold rings when they're doing the rings event and they're doing the big swings and the giants and the flippies and y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Hopefully. So false grip. We're gonna reach all the way to the back side of what we're grabbing and we're gonna be pulling all the way in, okay? So it's almost like my wrist is acting as a bumper and holding okay, my body in the correct position so I can grab all the way behind, okay? Once you've got a good false grip, I'm gonna use this leverage down behind my wrist and my arm to pull my chest as close to the obstacle as possible. This allows me to keep it centered and all of my weight in line with whatever I'm hanging on to, whether it's gonna be a bungee, a rope, or this nunchuck. And it'll give me the ability to pull and thrust out to get maximum extension with my other arm to grab whatever other obstacle I'm grabbing. You guys, got it? So let's go ahead and give this a quick demonstration on the nunchucks we've got right back here. Let's do it. So as I said before, the false grip, you're gonna go all the way past it, reach around and bring your fingers back towards you. This technique will allow you to use your arm as an extension of your grip. So here we go. I jump up all the way around and that allows me to get a good grip here. So I could, normally I wouldn't be able to hold and lock off, okay? But because my hand is all the way around, I can pull it in close to my chest and give me that extension that I need. So if I'm going this way and trying to get to another obstacle or another okay, nunchuck, I'll demonstrate that. So we get onto the first one, boom, I've matched. Then I'm gonna reach across, do the same thing, leave a little bit of room above my hand to grab and use that technique again. Leave a little bit of room and grab. So when matching, climbing term matching, you're grabbing the same obstacle with two hands, relatively pretty close to each other. That way, when you jump up to something and you grip it, you wanna leave a good hand length space to grab whatever it is that you're hanging from. So if I reach out and grab this guy, I wanna make sure to leave room above the first grab for the other hand to come in. This way, I have all this extra slip room in case I don't have the great grip that I'm expecting and I need to get off this obstacle to the next one, okay? So again, we wanna leave room above your first grab so that way this one has more room for error as I'm making my next transition. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. This is the technique that I use and uh, there's one more piece to this that will help you guys stay up there longer if you guys are stuck in a tight situation and you didn't quite make it to the obstacle you're trying to get to. So, let's say for a moment you got up there, okay? And I go to reach for a really far obstacle and I don't quite make it. So I get up here, boom, I got a great grab, but I go for it, oh, I didn't quite make it, okay? So, what happened when I didn't quite make it? My arm went from a nice good L where I'm locked off, okay, another climbing term, and it went full extension like this and I kind of just lost it. The moment that happened, I fell down here and suddenly this reach becomes impossible, okay? Once I come back to it, it's almost like you're struggling and you're so far close to the bottom that you're gonna slip off and end up taking a dunk in the water. So, what I suggest to you guys is when you grab it, use the lock off technique Bring your arm as close to your body as possible so that way your weight is centered. Once you're here, go ahead and pick your target, what you're gonna be jumping to. In this scenario, it's gonna be the far nunchuck here, okay? When I'm in lock off, I'm able to get an extra mm, oomph, if you will, or an extra pop or pull or bounce, rebound, whatever you guys wanna call it. You can get a little bit of spring and pull and extend a little bit farther than what you're used to from that lock off position. 
and you'll also be able to get a breather while you're here and pick where you're gonna be able to throw your next move. So let's try that technique. I go up, I'm nice and locked off. Then I'm gonna wait till I get the right swing and bounce. Awesome, boom, and then we can do it again. We can switch it up, go back the other way. Boom, from lock off, boom. Notice I'm using that technique where I have room to grab and then switch it up, okay? So practice going back and forth. You guys wanna make sure you're solid on both sides so you don't develop one ginormous Popeye arm like unfortunately I have. So keep it up guys, keep practicing, keep training and come visit me at Ninja Grand Parkour. If you guys don't have that opportunity then you guys can keep checking out these sweet tutorials and all the other cool ninja content that we keep putting out. Let me go back in front of the other camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. We'll see you guys next time. And uh, be sure to check out all the other cool Ninja content, like some of our travels, events that we've been keeping up with, and uh, some of the things that we're hosting here at our gym in Colorado, just north of Denver. That's Ninja Brand Parkour. Ninja status, signing off. Be sure to like, subscribe. Goodbye! <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Thanks.